Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. Early in the day. Sun's not even properly up yet. <laughs> but this camera does do a good job at brightening things up. Uh, looks like it might be brighter today, but boy did we have some storms last night. Kept me awake quite a bit. And disturbed the cats enough that they did a lot of running up and down the stairs and bouncing on the bed. Which doesn't help getting sleep, does it? <laughs> Nonetheless, I was so tired I slept. But talky video this and quite short following on from yesterday's Sunday chat talking about oncidiums <coughs> I was looking for something on the internet and I came across probably one of the most important videos you can ever watch on YouTube as regarding the types of oncidiums that used to be called odontoglossums and cochleodas, um, basically combination of the two, odontodias, I think. Um, but in that arena, Jim used to work for uh, a company that specialised in them and had done for a very, very, very long time and responsible for producing some marvellous hybrids in that arena. So the link to Jim's repotting video is in the description and anybody who likes those uh, rather full flowered oncidium types that are often into generics sold in the supermarkets and stuff like that and a lot of them do contain some of the old odontoglossums and cochleodas or even both and this turns them into something different to your normal Oncidium types typified by the yellow dancing ladies and the twinkles and the sotoanums of the world and the one I can never say. Um, they're a different kettle of fish and Jim explains the difference and basically it's a repotting demo from an expert. But you know what the most important thing? well two really important things shown in that video is what with and how so when you've watched it <laughs> actually can I put a link I might I might do it as a as an info card as well as putting it in the description then you've got two choices but um anybody who likes to grow those type of um odont type oncidiums you need to watch this and having just got rid of all my moss and gave it all to Lynn, <laughs> I'm now going to demand some of it back. Because I haven't got a lot of these. I've got two that are really important to me. And probably about another, no more than a dozen, so we, shall we say. Some of which have been recently repotted. And I'd be reluctant to do them again. Um, but I may well do them again in the spring. As, as, as Jim says in that video, they do most of their repotting in the autumn. But um, there's some very, very important tips. So I recommend you go and have a watch. And um, my normal accessories supplier, Peter White, is very, very short on decent New Zealand sphagnum. And I've heard from others that the stuff you can now get, supposedly a replacement, which is Chilean, is actually <laughs> a load of cobblers and just isn't very good at all and doesn't last. So, you know, it's, you end up repotting a lot more often. It goes off. So I'm told. You know, I haven't used it. But, yeah, I mean, you know, the, the sphagnum moss comes in various grades, you know, right from Supreme to Premier Plus to Premier to Classic, which is basically <laughs> basically all the leftover bits bundled up together. That's That's the... That's the poorer quality end but the supreme is the good stuff that's the really long strand chunky stuff that you'd use to to wrap the neo finishes in and things like that um, I want the premium plus now Peter White my supplier has got very little of the New Zealand sphagnum left but he has got a large bale of that well he's got seven in fact um, and he's coming, I believe, to the Wessex show, so he can bring one with him and save on the postage. Um, but by hook or by crook, either via Lynn or via getting some new stuff, I need some decent sphagnum, and then I'll be repotting my 
of those types of oncidiums into a similar mix to what Jim was using in that video because I've got two that are incredibly precious to me and they just are not doing well at all. They're just not doing well and part of that comes down to their treatment as in talked about in my Sunday chat feeding plants that aren't growing and effectively you know contaminating the media and messing the roots up. And we need to stop doing that for a start <laughs> as well as perhaps getting them in a mix that uh, <clears throat> they would be more suited to. And those two precious ones came from Jim. On a visit to that nursery, I actually got those two plants there and then. One because I wanted it and it wasn't in bloom, I don't think, I think it had buds. And the other one because it just happened to be in bloom and I just absolutely went nuts over it and had to have it. Uh, they weren't cheap and I push, pushed them downhill really badly on the grounds that I hadn't seen Jim's video. So I didn't realise the cycle of repotting that they do and the fact that the plants I bought were in their last cycle before all the old media gets knocked off. And I got frightened of them because they were quite expensive and I left them in their pots. So effectively I destroyed the original root system and I've been struggling ever since. But maybe we can bring them back. Anyway, have a watch of this video. Um, You'll probably find the sounds a bit quiet. You might have to turn it up a bit. I did. But um, it's worth a watch. It's basically Jim being interviewed by somebody during a, a potting session sort of thing. But that slowed him up. <laughs> anyway, see you next time.